What's going on guys? It's the real Mr. Squid here. Welcome back to another episode of Tech at Classic Reloaded. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a good one. So, as you can see, I'm no longer wearing not only my gem armor, but I'm no longer wearing my uh, Thomcraft armor. My reasoning for that is because today we are going to be messing with our nano suit armor, our old nano suit rags, you know? We're going to be upgrading them to Quantum. Very cool. I, uh, oops, didn't mean to put it on. I got a little impatient in between episodes and actually ended up upgrading the drill. Because if you remember, it wasn't very, uh, it wasn't very good. And even after upgrading it to Iridium, I have to say, I don't really notice a speed increase that's too extreme. You know, it's like, okay. But I do like this noise it makes. I'll show you guys real quick. I didn't notice that it makes it before. You know, it sounds like, kind of like a wrench, kind of like, a, I guess a drill. It's very cool. So, if you don't have anything else, you know, it's definitely better than a pickaxe, I think. You know, unlimited durability, although you can't get enchants, but that's okay. Still definitely a worthy tool to make, if you can. So, we're going to end up getting right into this, because I think this might be... It's either going to be a super easy craft, or it's going to get a little tricky. Oh, man, our nano suit armor. I remember when I put this electric jetpack on it. I totally forgot about that. Let's see. It should... Yeah, it's still charged. Look at that. And that was one of the reasons why we switched armors, because it wasn't very good at protecting you from fall damage. And I was jumping off stuff all the time. <laughs> the, the spawner, jumping off of there, <laughs> that was crazy with the hang glider. Okay, so let's start with some of the stuff the nano suit can do before we upgrade it. Let me just double check here. I should... Hmm. Let me just double check the controls. Uh, so X, M, and I. X. I distinctly remember that opening up uh, something on my helmet before. X, M, I. Left alt and... Oh, oh there we go. Okay, so you hold, um, you hold the left menu, which is uh, left alt, and then you press the other keys. So, yeah, no, it's got like this, um, it's got a heads-up display that you can enable. Basic mode, just shows you your charge, uh, extended, and then even further advanced, which is like metadata, I believe. And then nothing, and then you can also do the uh, night vision. Not that. Hit something else on accident. What was it? It was I, right? Or M? Yeah, that's night vision. So the thing about the night vision is, it's great, right? But during the daytime, it blinds you, so it's kind of... The worst thing ever. Um, at the same time, there. Let's go inside the. Let's go inside here real quick. That's not where I wanted to go. There it is. I knock this out. We should lose our blindness in a second. Yeah. See, look. Now we're good. But if you get anywhere that's too bright, like near a torch, it makes you blind. Not very helpful, if I'm being honest. Not very helpful. They should change that. I. I think. And I'm pretty sure that's all it can do. So let's get into upgrading it. Start with a helmet. We're gonna need two iridium plates. And the helmet. Bam, quantum suit helmet. I'm gonna take this off because, yeah. Oh, heck yeah, this is looking snazzy. So what can this stuff do? I'm gonna test it out as we craft each uh, individual part. Probably also has the night vision. Um, I, X. Oh, just the same stuff, it appears. Let me just double check once more. Left menu, left control. X, M, and I. Side inventory. I'm not sure what the side inventory is for. Maybe, uh, maybe it's something else. Okay, next is the armor. So, we put that jetpack on, and I don't know if that's going to affect how it crafts. I sure hope not. What are we missing here? Oh, that goes there. A Lapatron crystal. I bet we have one. Oh, we don't have one. That's okay. Let's just make one real quick. We are not able to make one real quick. Make a energy crystal, energy and dust. 
You know what? Let's just do something we haven't done before. There we go. Nice and quick. And as you guys know, this is going right into... The... Oh, this doesn't have an ejector upgrade? Man, what was I doing? What was I thinking? There we go. Oh, no, not there. Okay, let's set this to the top. There we go. I went right back into the system. We should have been using enderpearls for a while. I don't know why I haven't been using them. They are great. Okay, energy crystal here. And that will allow us to make our armor. I don't think it, I think we lose the jetpack that's attached. It appears so. Oh, but oh, it has a jetpack built in, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Hover mode. Got a nice hover mode. That's a that's M to switch between that. The other jetpack had that too, though. Let's see. I, X. It's just the HUD stuff. Night vision. Yeah, no, this this is cool. I might leave that HUD. Uh, I'm I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave the basic HUD on. I like the basic HUD. It's kind of got like a retro vibe to it. Okay. Next is the leggings, which we are missing these again. Oh, and the lapatron. And we need a couple of these, so let's get them going. Crystal, crystal. One, I think we should need two, maybe three, who knows, maybe four. Never hurts to make more. I think this is where we're going to start, yep, noticing a difference. We go super fast. So you can go slow, and then if you start to sprint, you go faster. Also, I got a question for you guys. How do you sprint in Minecraft? Do you press left control? Do you bind it to a different button? Do you... Or do you double tap W? So I've been playing Minecraft for a very long time, so I double tap W. I mean, sometimes I press left control, but... Oh, we're out of food. But yeah. Definitely a, a W person. Get that going. Ooh, Quantum suit boots. So, the quantum suit boots don't make us faster, but they do allow us to jump. Let's get this charging. Oh wow, this is gonna this is gonna take a minute. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, that took a very, 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 very long time, actually. <laughs> Significantly longer than I anticipated. Since we're rocking out with the, uh, the you know, industrial craft stuff, might as well use the drill. And also, let me see if I can make this just real quick. Or have I already made it? I might have made it already. I don't think I have. Oh, we're not going to be able to make it because I'd have to. That's fine. So, the armor can make you, as I was saying before I had to charge. Um, so this is running very fast. Definitely travel the world like this. I think it has auto step. Maybe not. Let me see. I don't think it does have auto step. Oh, wait. What was that right there? Do you, do you guys see that? It's like uh, the... In the upper left, it was like flickering. The the HUD was flickering. I didn't know what that was. Um, so you can jump really high. Or wait, is it this button? How do how you do it? Okay, I know that these feet got a big because I did it. There it was. Let's turn this off. I think this is messing it up. 
Yeah, there we go. So if you have just the boots on, and you you know you're running and you jump, or you hold, I'm sorry, you have to hold left control to jump to jump like this. But yeah, this is this is pretty sick. It's like we're the Hulk, and the world is our oyster. This is where we got all that lava before. Yeah. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick is I don't know if any of you'd be interested in like a world download or something. If you just want to run around the world, check it out. I don't know, you guys probably won't, but if you do, just let me know, and I'll definitely put it up if I can. I should be able to, if I know how to. Oh, another thing, no fall damage. Let's see if we can fly really high up and drop. We got like 89% right now on our boots. Let's see. All right, like 160, let's see. Yeah, just it just absorbs with power, although that did eat a lot of power. But either way, very cool. I wish it had step assist. I feel like it does, and I ju I'm just not activating it. But I didn't see anything in the controls. Where are you? Contr oh, I passed. Must have passed it. Yeah. I don't see anything here. Also, I don't know what that side inventory thing is for. Like if you have a, a backpack or something. Anyway, now that we have this super cool armor, and we look amazing. Look how advanced we look. Imagine, imagine seeing a squid in a suit, and then in another suit. You know? A squid in a suit. And then that squid's rocking another suit? I mean, come on. That's crazy. So the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to make um, luggage. This is stuff I should have made way earlier, you know? But I just, I know about it. And I just forgot about it. Super fun. So the luggage is from Open Blocks if you have it. I'm not quite sure how to heal them. I feel like it's wood. Let me try. Picked him up. Maybe he heals over time. Maybe it's a healing potion. Potion of healing. I can't even do that. I might have some in here. Potion. Instant health. Instant health. Instant health. Let's whip up a brewing stand real quick. I think we're gonna need some blaze powder. Have some gunpowder. I don't want our guy to get hurt. Nope, not that. That goes there. That goes there. There we go. So, what luggage does is luggage will follow you around with his little cool yet creepy legs. I believe this is an item that was uh, inspired from Terraria, which is a game I actually haven't had the opportunity to play. And he's really quick, too. <laughs> he will follow you. you got to be careful not to lose him, though. <laughs> Look at him go. That's funny. Um, but his capacity is not great. Luggage's capacity is one chest, which is fine, you know, especially if it's just, the, you know, the first, uh, you know, light items. But let's say you're doing a big job with a lot of items. He's, he picks them up. I don't know if I said that. He, he picks up any dropped items. There's a drill for you. I just got a drill. He's going he's gonna to mine for us. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you can also put items inside of him just by right-clicking him. And then if you shift right click, you pick up that, and now the items are inside of your inventory. Like, inside of luggage. Because that's, you know, how luggage works. Put them down, you don't lose the items, pick them back up, great. So. I know of a way to upgrade luggage in this pack. We're going to use these potions after, but it involves lightning. So we're going to need to get it to raining. We're going to need a pedestal. We're going to need the... Water thing, what's it called? Evertide amulet. We are going to need to make. I forgot what it's called, but it's from Reliquary. It's called the Rending Gale. Uh, bat wings are made with gold and feather. Void tier is nebulous heart, gas tier, slime pearl, that stuff. Just most of, most of these things are just the main item around gold or iron. And then this requires feathers to work. We should have a lot of feathers. It should auto-absorb once we shift right-click. It's auto-absorbing the feathers. Yep. Very nice. And now we need to make it rain. Because this thing will allow you to strike lightning while it's raining. So to make it rain, we put the Evertide Amulet on here and right-click really quickly. Now... 
we should. able to right click. You know, I just did this, and I was having trouble with it before. Is it, it is raining. Well, another thing it can do is make you fly really fast. So we'll do that for a second, and then maybe when we come back, it'll let me do the lightning. I don't know why. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't like the lightning. Oh, see, like, wh I, I didn't change anything. Okay. I think it just takes a second to realize that it's raining. So, if we strike our poor little luggage here with lightning, we should... Dun, 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 turn into a super luggage with a huge inventory that you can also still pick up. Luggage is also renameable. I'm not sure if you do it in the anvil or a name tag. Um... Shout out little squiddy. Little squiddy. Because, you know. Look at all those legs. It's got more legs than me, and I'm a squid. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. 14, 15, 16 legs. <laughs> Crazy. Let's see if we can get him healed up now. Oh, it's not working. Maybe he's just, like, impervious to damage. <clears throat> That's probably what it is. Yeah, because I can't hit him. So this is a little squiddy. It's pretty great. Let's stop this rain. Nobody likes rain. At least not in Minecraft. Um. This should stop the rain. Perfect. Perfect. And on that note, I think we're actually reaching the wrapping up point, guys. I've done just about everything I want to do. So, this next episode is going to be like a world tour. And then if you guys, you know, in the comments tell me you want the download, I'll put the download in the, com uh, in the description of that video. And then I think we're going to be moving on to a, uh, a, new, a new, new pack, guys. It's been a pleasure, you know, playing through this pack. Doing everything. It's kind of crazy to think that we all, you know, I started with a, just a little 7x7, seven seven, like right here. <laughs> now look at all this. It's crazy. But like, especially to me, like to look back at the video and see like the progress that's been made. It's very surprising. And I'm, uh, I really appreciate you guys for watching, and all that, and all the amazing comments you, you know, you comment. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, slap the like button. Always helps me out. And uh, if you really liked it, you know, maybe hit that subscribe. Just stick around. Because uh, I'm not stopping anytime soon. Okay, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.